I hate to refer to, to anti-vaxxers as, as cult-like because I know myself what it's like to be on that side and I would have hated to be referred to as that. But in reality, yes, that's what it is. Meet Catherine. She used to be an ardent believer in conspiracy theories, including thinking that vaccines are part of a sinister global plot to make millions ill. Now she spends her time trying to convince others to climb out of the online rabbit hole that she was once down. My mum was um, anti-vax, anti-medicine, very holistic. And also I grew up in a, a low demographic, so naturally you tend to find people are more susceptible to anti-establishment ideas. I had some things running around in my head that, you know, the system was bad. Um, the system was set up wrong, the system was set up for us to fail. Then along came social media and it opened up a whole new world of anti-vaccine content online. There were hundreds of YouTube videos, Facebook videos, memes, articles, clips um, that would catch your attention in the newsfeed. Catherine's cynicism, which led her down this conspiracy theory rabbit hole in the first place, ultimately helped her out of it. I started to realise I needed to be more critical of myself, critical of the things I was reading and the things that I was watching. Where did they come from? Who was making them? Why were they making them? So, for example, if there was some grand conspiracy at play here, how many people would need to be involved in that theory uh, all the way from the top down? What are the odds of nobody saying anything? I started to notice things like uh, certain health campaigns, for example, bombarding social media with advertisements, promising, you know, huge health benefits. I realised that these people were actually harnessing the cultural changes in our lives to make money. The likes, the followers, the subscribers. This process of rejecting online conspiracies was not a quick one. I think part of me will always still be in the rabbit hole. We all like to feel we've got some understanding of the way the world works, when in reality it's a lot more chaotic. But she thinks people can emerge from the rabbit hole. You need to be able to listen and understand their fears, understand their concerns, and if they're willing, go into discussions about why things might not be as they believe or why things might not be true, and it needs to be a much gentler approach. Catherine hopes her experience might help just one person affected by online conspiracy theories during the pandemic. There's no shame in being susceptible to conspiracy theories or anti-vax conspiracy theories. They're very good, they're very convincing. You're allowed to change your view just because you've been stuck in one mode or one world view for most of your life doesn't mean you need to stay there. I would have not believed in this pandemic at all 10 years ago. And now, would you have the vaccine? Absolutely. <laughs>